Welcome friends, it's Miss Jisa. I hope you're ready for another story today. I've got my little dog and a new book for you. Our story today is about one of the leaders of the United States. Her name is Kamala Harris and she's the vice president. Our story is written by author Nia Hentz and illustrated by Winda Mulyasari. I was lucky enough to speak to author Nia Hentz, so if you haven't already, be sure to watch the interview that I posted today as well. Meet Kamala Harris. Meet Vice President Kamala Harris. She is the first woman, first African American, and first Asian American to be Vice President. Kamala Devi Harris was born October 20th, 1964 in Oakland, California. She was the first child to her Jamaican-born father and her Indian-born mother. Her father, Donald Harris, was a professor and her mother, Shamala, a cancer researcher. Kamala was brought up in a multicultural home. Her mother made sure both of her cultures were embraced. She also attended both a black Baptist church and a Hindu temple. She often shared her culture with others. She would bring her black friends home, share Indian food and paint henna on their hands. Kamala spent summers in India visiting family and learning about her culture. Her grandfather, P. V. Gopalan, was a high-ranking government official and fighter for independence. He was one of the people who had a heavy influence on her. Kamala's parents divorced when she was seven years old. Afterward, she lived with her mother and sister Maya in a yellow house. The three of them became very close because of this. In school, Kamala was a good student. To get to school each day, she traveled on a long bus ride across town. She did this to go to a better school and have more opportunities. Her family later moved to Montreal, Canada when she was 12 for her mother's new job. When she was 13 years old, she followed her parents to the path of activism. She and her sister Maya led a demonstration at their apartment building to protest kids being unable to play on the lawn. They were successful in their feet. The school Kamala attended was a French-speaking school. She finished high school there in Canada, but went back to the United States for college. She chose to attend Howard University, a top HBCU. She majored in political science and economics and joined the sorority Alpha Kappa Alpha. After college, Kamala went on to finish law school at California Hastings College of Law. She then became a lawyer and later California's first black woman district attorney. As the district attorney, she created the Back on Track program to help people who made terrible mistakes get job training and make a better life for themselves. In 2016, Kamala became a U.S. Senator for California. She was the first South Asian American to do this and the second African-American woman. She married her love, Doug Emhoff, in 2004 and is called Mamala by his two children, a pet name they have for her. Let's learn some other things about Kamala Harris. She loves to cook. She loves hip hop music. She collects Chuck Taylor shoes. 
She loves to read. She has written three books. One of them is a children's book. And last, her mother is her greatest inspiration. She takes her motto from her. You may be the first to do many things, but make sure you're not the last. Shamala Gopalan Harris. Now, I look forward to reading Nia Hentz's next book on another one of our leaders here in the United States, President Joe Biden. Stay tuned. As soon as she writes it, we'll have her back on to talk about her book, and I'll read it. See you soon. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.